here at the uh, Couchin Exhibition Grounds in uh, Couchin Valley um, at the Vancouver Island Holstein Club uh, annual show. Got uh, cattle here from uh, yeah, Vancouver Island and mainland, even the Okanagan, a few cattle. So um, yeah, excited uh, for the show today. And uh, we also have the uh, Couchin 4-H Holstein Club here. Annabelle Fastino. I am 16 years old and I'm a part of the Couch and Holstein 4-H Club. This right here is Tango. She just finished her first show of the year. Um, she did pretty well. She won a couple of ribbons, so she's really hungry right now. Okay, so I'm, I'll give a little bit of a, an outline of what uh, is involved in showing cattle and uh, being part of the 4-H program. And I'll start with some of the uh, yeah, requirements, I suppose. Uh, when we show cattle or dairy cattle, the uniform for shows is, uh, is white pants and white uh, shirt. And um, that uh, yeah, is a question in itself, but it dates back to uh, when they first started, they used to wear um, lab coats and uh, then it uh, eventually evolved to uh, just all white, um, trying to uh, emulate uh, cleanliness and uh, the pristine product that we're um, uh, producing. Hi, my name is Kaden, and this is my first year of 4-H with a dairy cow, and this is Lambo. And I just went to my first show today, and it was really fun. Also, Lynn was a really nice cow. For her first year, she tells me in 4-H, uh, has her calf really well trained. Just gave her a few tips that she can work on for next time. But overall, great job, girls. Congratulations. Yes, when you're uh, showing cattle, we're trying to um, decide what is going to help for breed improvement. and. Uh, that's how cattle shows have started. Um, when we're in 4-H, we're trying to, uh, to teach young people about um, preparing and how to show an animal to the best of its appearance. And so in 4-H, there, we have two classes, and uh, one is called showmanship, where they prepare their animal and it is judged on cleanliness, on how well it's trained. Basically a lot of details, um, control of the animal, how well the condition of the animal, whether it's uh, you know, in the right kind of condition for a growing cat, whether it's been housed in clean facilities, you can see whether it's stained or it's nice and white. And so a lot of details like that. And they'll enter the ring going clockwise they will be, a uh, judge will be standing in the center and he'll watch them uh, walk and, and hope that uh, they have really good control of their animal is a big part of it. And they'll be asked to stop them and, um, and start them, um, move them into a lineup. Um, he'll call them into the center of the ring one by one um, in an order that um, he's decided on after he's individually inspected the animals. The second class that they will be judged on will be with um, confirmation, and that is strictly the confirmation or structural makeup of the animal that they're um, presenting. And um, so in dairy cattle, they look um, on non-milking animals, 40% like of uh, what they're looking at is how well they walk, their feet and leg structure, um, and then body capacity and, and their um, back and, and rump structure comes in um, behind those factors. And when they get to the older dairy cows, mammary system becomes a very big part of the criteria for judging. So yes, two different um, reasons for going out into the show ring for 4-H members. One's showmanship and the other's confirmation. But uh, 
always a fun time and an exciting time for kids uh, when they get to take their calf that they've worked on for, uh, for months at home, feeding and grooming and uh, training. Um, it's exciting to come to the show and actually get uh, an opportunity to show their stuff. I just went into my first show today and I'm super excited and I got two first place and two reserve champions and my cow didn't act up and I'm really happy and she's really good. The, uh, the 4-H program is um, a youth program for you know, kids 9 to 19 and um, it's a progression. When our um, <clears throat> kids start and they're with little or no experience, they, um, they do have a manual that they can turn to to help uh, guide them with uh, the details that are required to show cattle. But the, uh, the senior or older members generally um, spend a fair bit of time helping the, the younger ones along in the program. The, the program has a lot of uh, other aspects to it. Um, I know our club did uh, just some fun things, rock climbing, climbing and uh, you know different things, to sort of team building um, stuff. We do some judging, we do uh, you know some artsy sort of things with educational displays and uh, that sort of thing. So the 4-H program is multifaceted and it's a great uh, environment for kids to, uh, to you know, work together as a team and, uh, and get to interact with animals. And, uh, and cows are, are very quiet and, and easy to train. They're very um, loving animals that understand when they're getting treated well and uh, um, they respond exceptionally well with, uh, with training and uh, and working with them, they like it. Um, so this year I qualified for the Canadian Classic, or the Western Canadian Classic, which is in Manitoba this year. Um, it's going to be my first year going, and I'm very like honored that I was chosen to go there. Right. Yeah. And so one of the reasons I'm really excited to go to the Canadian Classic is because it's going to be, it's not just showing and calf placing, there's going to be a lot of different, um, I guess, categories. So there's going to be like clipping, fitting, there's going to be dairy science and they're going to teach us how to read like pedigrees and stuff for cows. So I guess very helpful for us in the future. And there's also going to be, it's going to be a lot of fun. Like there's just, it's going to be a whole week and it's going to be a blast. And I'm excited, to, I'm like honored that I was chosen this year so I can represent my province and, <laughs> and yeah. <laughs> so the, um, the farm that we get our cows from, this is Tango, right here. Um, she, I guess we get it from Wedgwood Holstein Farms. And I guess, just want to say a big thank you to the owner, Ridley Wickering, because he's lending us these cows and we get to train them and it's really fun. So, a big thank you to them. <laughs>